Greetings, beautiful souls. It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sanja, and I am here again with another motivational soul healing video. I have to apologize first and foremost that I was like disappeared. It didn't come on Friday like I was meant to, but I'm here now. So let's just dive into it. Let's just enjoy each other's spaces. Let's just enjoy each other's company, wisdom, and just like combine all these energies and make greatness out of them. If you're coming for the first time, Thank you for being here. We truly appreciate you. If you want to see more of this, you can press the subscribe button down below and press the notification bell. Thank you for being part of the family. I truly do appreciate you. Today is Sikuluma Ngani. Sikuluma about hyping yourself. Sikuluma about being your own self-motivation. About you really giving yourself the power that you are looking or seeking from other places and other people. Did you know that, Uti, you have the ability to actually take yourself to places but you are so modest. You don't play your wins. You don't play your skills and talents. You act as if they're not a big deal. Well, you are a big deal. They don't make them like you no more. You one special person that really needs to start walking in their journey with grace, uh, especially towards yourself. You've been somebody who's been so hard on yourself for the past couple of weeks, couple of months and couple of years because you are still in regret of the decisions you might have taken in the past not knowing that you had no other options other than the options you chose and those options as much as they might have taken you into troubles and tribulations they really shaped you into this type of a person you became today always believe in yourself believe in your ability believe that when you say you're gonna do it you're gonna do it believe that before you put your trust towards some other person know that if this person f's up I know that I've got myself, I've got a backup plan and a backup plan is always going to be myself. you got to be your backup plan at all times because there'll come a point in time, especially dur during your enlightenment, especially during you finding yourself, especially during the time where you are unlearning the lies and learning the truth, when e veil is being removed and you are starting to see things and life for what it truly is, you're going to come across uh, situations that are going to make you be so isolated. All the people that have always been your friends, your family, that you've always been close to, they will disappear. They will seem as if they have just shifted and moved away. It's going to be as if they've heard some horrible news about you and all of them know about this and no one is telling you about it. And they just go MIA on you and you try to reach out, especially when you're going through problems where you find yourself going through challenges and you're looking around hoping to, for somebody to have a shoulder to cry on and it's all you. <laughs> Let me tell you something about that most beautiful experience. It is done on purpose. It is by design. It's not by mistake that it happens that way. That's the only time you get to really see your truest version of your potential. The truest version of what you are capable of doing. Because there is that pride that you must gain after going through those down, dark moments of your life. You come out feeling like, I had myself, I carried myself out of it out of the a dungeon you know it's not always just yourself there's always going to be those individual uh, invisible uh, forces that are just making sure you are taken care of because you are never alone that's one thing i think you truly do know by now if you look back into all the situations that you found yourself experiencing and you ask yourself how did i come out of this because i was not meant to come out of this clearly there must have been an invisible force or something bigger than myself maybe even within myself that really just took over because when i just became blank and the rest just manifested itself the way it did I, I i don't know how there are those situations that need you to be all by yourself because when it comes to harvesting no one needs to be there but you because it's going to be your hard work. It's going to be you who made those plans. You planted the seeds of whatever the thoughts that you might be having, the behavior that you have been showing and embodying towards other people, how you interact with nature. It all comes back in numbers. It comes back in numbers. So hype yourself. Speak highly of yourself. This is one of the most powerful foundations of self-discovery of building your self-confidence, of building your self-esteem, is to have certain affirmations that you are going to utter with your lips from the source of your soul, 
on a daily basis until you believe them to be true, until you see them manifest themselves into your reality. And that's how it always works. And people think manifestation is just this one big thing that is just done by people who are powerful, people who know how to meditate in the oceans or, or mountains or who go and fast. Every person manifests each and every minute of their lives. If you want to know what you are manifesting, start paying attention on what, the, what are the things you think about the most. The things you tend to think about the most, they are the ones that are driving your life. They are, they are the ones that are drawing in the type of things that you see coming closer to you here. Everything starts from here. Because here, that's where your wisdom, your godliness dwells. Your third eye, the so-called first eye, your pineal gland in the medical language. This is where your crown chakra is found. So a lot of things are happening here. This is your heaven. When they point on top and say heaven is on top, really what they mean is here. Because also when you sleep at night, you don't shut out here. You are more awake when you are physically sleeping than when you are physically awake. Because when you close these two eyes, there is this one eye that remains more open. And that is the spiritual eye. People who did their research, they did find that you are more awake in your sleep than you are when you are awake because they did some tests and they, they, they checked the realm sleep. The realm sleep is the deepest point of sleep where dreams tend to come. And people's activity, the, their brain activity is shown to be more active in their sleep than when they are awake. Now, this is the reason why we need to meditate as people. Meditation is giving your brain and your mind and your third eye a chance for purity, for purification, for clarity, for cleansing. You allow yourself not to worry about anything, not to plan about anything, not to think about anything. So I guess it's safe to say that if you really want to change your life, whether your physical appearance, whether your personality, the way you do things, it has to start here. You have to envision it here. You need to see yourself here being that person. And then you, have, you must have something that drives you into why you want to be that version of yourself. Because without any intention, without any motive, we don't stick to the same patterns of behavior because we forget what we're doing it for. But if you constantly remind yourself the reason why I need to be persistent, the reason why I need to be passionate, the reason why I need to do the things that I need to do is because I'm in training. I'm training my mind. I'm training my brain into unleashing that God and goddess within me so that it can fulfill its purpose that it came to fulfill on this planet Earth before it can depart and proceed to other universes with its own goals. Do not look at life as if it was by chance that you're here. It could have been any other spam. It was yours. It was the one that is you. <laughs> it was the one that is you. Could have been many other billions of them. So clearly you started winning from the get-go. So what makes you think that now you have to humble yourself, hype yourself from Daga Koko? The world is already cold as it is. People are always trying to take from other people. People are always trying to behave and act, and act better than the other person. They're always trying to appear as if they are well off than the next person. They always find themselves in situations that indebt them, that depress them, that scare them, that saddens them, that gives them sleepless night simply because they want to prove a point to someone else. And you find that it's a traumatic response that you want to get every materialistic thing for yourself or for your children because you're trying to cover a gap that needs to be filled by things that cannot be seen by physical eyes but can be felt by hearts. Because in this world, as much as we love money so much, glitz and glam, we want to work so hard for it. We want to sacrifice our souls for it. We want to sell our bodies. We want to do anything to get it. But then when we have it, are we, are we really happy? 
are we really like feeling like okay this is enough I've, I've got it all that is because there's more to it than just what you see in this physical earth the, the heart wants what it wants the heart wants peace the heart wants love the heart and the mind together they want growth and when you don't belong or you don't feel belonging anyway that's when many people compromise a lot they compromise themselves they compromise their gift their talents their parts their light because they want to appear a certain way towards certain people live your truth hype yourself where you are you are doing great for somebody who come from the situations you come from you are doing great for somebody who is where you are even though you know you don't belong where you are because you are still trying to pull yourself out and bring yourself where you are supposed to be i don't care how you picture it i don't care what you call it but you know the end goal what it's supposed to be it doesn't necessarily have to be what everybody else calls success the definition of success to you is known by you embark on that journey and achieve the success that is identical to you the one that is very personal to you the one that is like there's that particular trauma i come from previously and this particular goal is to just blow that wound once and for all like even if it won't heal completely but the fact that you will do something that will feel like you're blowing the wound <laughs> i'll give you an example a very very um personal example at that uh, in a couple of years ago when i was much younger in my early 20s i found myself pregnant uh, by my high school boyfriend who we were together for like 2 3 years at the time because we started dating much young like in grade 11 even though we started engaging you know physically in in university so i was the first child to go to university and on my second year falling pregnant i felt horrible about myself because <laughs> i went from being the first person to go to university somebody who have potential to change the situation at home somebody who is going to make things happen to somebody who's just a disappointment to somebody who didn't listen to parents to somebody who really just went and did their own things and wasted all everyone's money and time and if i allowed my light to die there i think many people would have died with that light too or with me too because years later looking into how all those experiences have shaped me into the person that i am today it 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 humbles my heart to see how many people have really gotten some strength out of just listening to a person like me i'm nothing special but listening to someone like me and say you know what i'm going to give this thing called life a chance again because the princess said it's possible and it, it it's really worth it so let me give it a go like waking up every freaking day having at least one if not two voice messages just crying their lungs out telling me how grateful they are that they met me and then more than anything looking at my son now <laughs> and thinking if i did anything stupid like i wouldn't have this beauty he's the most beautiful be- beautiful boy i have ever came across like you see so horrible things have a way of playing out you just need to go through them sometimes allow yourself to go through because while you are going through a situation the situation is shaping you into a better version of yourself because now you know better you know better when you have the experience you can advise someone better because you know how it's like to be isolated to be told that when you are a disgrace there is nothing we can say about you i will never forget there was this one day that's when reality really hit because at home we are not people who love to travel together you know eat out and do all those things but that particular year when i had just gotten a child and feeling embarrassed and ashamed of myself and for the first time i'm seeing my family they're having a gathering they are going to the beach they're meeting up with other cousins other extended families and they're going and i'm left behind i was like wow okay <laughs> it sucks it stings to the heart <laughs> you know but i had to go through those situations so that i can know uguti when i take actions i need to be able to also take the outcomes of the actions and when I, i when when i allow myself to go through the consequences of my actions i'm growing that growth on its own that is growth on its own there's something that is forming there like a cocoon like a, a, a caterpillar inside a cocoon in transformation of becoming a butterfly 
it looks disgusting. No one wants to do anything with it. No child would even want to play with it because maybe they might even cry because it looks scary. But wait until it becomes a butterfly. Everybody want to embrace it. Everybody's chasing after it. Everyone is, is mesmerized. Sonjay, that's why I came here to say today, hype yourself from Dagama. Wake up in the morning, we bongele, ishi bongelo zako. Ishai bongelo zako mdagama. If ungenazo zikande, learn about your grandmothers. Take some of the words from them because you know they have beautiful attributes that you might look up to, that you might have inherited, that you wish to unlock within you so that you can use in your favor or in the favor of your bloodline or in the favor of your generation or in the favor of your, 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 your family or your offsprings. Zibongele, 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 have those affirmations ready on a daily. When you wake up exhaling in sunrise, place them next to the mirror where you look at yourself and talk to yourself and tell yourself how great you are, how great of a person you are, how much you are going places, how you are so fired, like fired with this energy or this fire energy that you feel that is driving you into becoming and doing better. Hype yourself as much as you can because people are already pissed at themselves. They don't even love themselves already. Most people don't love themselves. So don't expect them to hype you. When you do great things, when you get yourself big purchases, you give yourself a car, you buy yourself a home or you build a house, whatever that you might do that is really big and is new in your family and in your generation. And you see as if people are pulling back their compliments, they're pulling back, they're not saying anything. It is okay, my honey. It means you're doing good. It means you're doing good. It means they are mesmerized, they are shocked, they can't even have words. They couldn't believe that you were able to do it. Take it as a compliment. Don't, don't expect anything from nobody. Always have yourself as a backup plan. Even when they do promise you things, accept the promises is cool, but don't expect them to come through the promise so that when they do come through, it's a beautiful surprise and it's a double excitement. But if they don't, you know you got your back. You always got your back. Always have your back. Even if you are going to date, you are like still young, or even if you are not young, like dating is not only for the young people. If you are going on dates, never as a lady go on a date when you don't have a backup plan. Have your taxi fee. If you're taking a taxi, have your your your, your meal money, like be a, all the things that you know you can afford if a person you are dating with is now starting to change. Always be ready for anything. Trust yourself more than you trust other people. Put trust on yourself. Yes, put trust on other people, but use yourself as a backup plan. Always be your own backup plan. That's just one of the most important uh, advices that I would like to share with you, NJ Singvala. You need to speak life in your life. You need to be the light of your light. You need to be everything that you other people seek from other people. Be those things to yourself so that when another person comes and they are those things to themselves, you guys are going to combine your kindness and you're going to create the most beautiful bomb of a lifetime. I hope that this video did find you in good spirit. Until we meet again, love and light.